and yes, my cat's butt is on the counter and my dishwasher's going. Mom life. I don't know if cat butts are part of mom life, but whatever. Let's get the cleaning products and such, that stuff out of the way first, and then we'll talk about the wax, shall we? Johnny Appleseed dish soap, fantastic. I actually filled my hand soap uh, containers with this. Now, listen, Scentsy Consultants can be a little bit critical of each other, and I'm really surprised that someone did not call me out. I have been, not lying, but I have been mistaken for about a year now. I was taking the body wash and filling up my hand soap containers with it, thinking that the body wash was cheaper, but in actuality, I was totally incorrect. The hand soap is cheaper than the body wash, and because they are both similar product, we have now started to use a little bit of the hand soap in the shower as body wash, and by the way, this is the same stuff. Hang on, my phone's ringing. Okay, sorry about that. I got, you gotta love those spam callers. Anyway, this is a very similar um, formula to the hand soap. So we're not using dish soap in the shower, but we are using dish soap as hand soap because obviously you can use it on your hands because you use your hands to wash your dishes. So anyway, I do apologize for any confusion that I might have, um, you know, caused anybody. But anyway, Johnny Appleseed is a fantastic Oh, it smells just like apples. It smells like a combination of Macintosh and Red Delicious and Granny Smith. It's just everything apple, fantastic dish soap. And because I am a stay-at-home mom, I go through a ton of it. Lucky in Love Body Cream. This is not my favorite scent in the world, but it was in the clearance section, so I bought up a bunch of these because I go through the body cream like crazy. So we've got an empty one of those. The pink cotton uh, laundry love bundles are, were so good that I actually got them twice in a row. I loved the pink cotton. I hope it never goes away. Um, right now, I am waiting to, I am actually finishing up, what am I finishing up? Go-Go Mango? I think I'm finishing up a, go -go, a tub of Go-Go Mango. Uh, and then I get to start on the Palm Beach, um, what is it called? <sighs> I can't remember what it's called, Ugh. but it was in the summer collection. So I have the laundry liquid and the wash whiffs in the Palm Beach Breeze, I think it's called. I don't remember. Anyway, the wax is fantastic. And I, now I'm going to be able to start on that once I'm done with my Go Go Mango wash whiffs. Uh, By the Sea Counter Clean, fantastic. I hijacked this from my mom. Uh, because she uh, she moved and she said to us just go to my apartment and pick whatever you want and she had this had only about this much in it so I went ahead and took it because why am I going to leave that for the new owners I might as well take it and I used it up right away this made my whole house smell good when I did my uh, kitchen counters with it like the whole house smelled like by the uh, by the sea I'm gonna say by the breeze by the sea all right let's get into some wax because you know you know that's who I am today I have six cubes of this warming in my living room slash kitchen slash dining room area. Olaf Warm Hugs. It's mint, it's woods, it's vanilla. It's fantastic. I have this in my Scentsy Club. I, I might be taking it out of my Scentsy Club um, only because I feel like that there are other things that I could be getting with the same sort of scent. And these are 50 cents more. Not if you get the six pack, but these are a little bit more expensive. And this is a very, very light scent. I like the fragrance of it but I wish it was a little stronger I don't usually use six cubes of the same thing in one day but you kind of have to with the Olaf because it's a little pale gone camping goes in my warmers outside I do have one or two warmers that I use outside I use the element warmers outside since he would not condone us doing that but that's what I do uh, this is a very strong smoky scent very woodsy uh, a lot of smoke in this so I only like to warm this outside Juicy Apple Raspberry. I have a backup of this. This is a really good mix. It's uh, very, very sweet, very, very fruity. On its own, it's a little too much for me, a little too fruity, but you mix it with a floral and it's fantastic. Frosted White Birch is another one that I warm outside. Too smoky, too woodsy. I like it when you mix it with florals, but I just went ahead and threw this in the warmers outside and it was fantastic. It, remind, it, it felt like I had a campfire going even though I didn't. Stroop Waffle Delight. I was happy to get through this and be done with it. It's very sweet. It's very, oh, it almost is like, it's, it's butter. It smells like butter and sugar mixed together, but not even in a good, like, you know, sugar cookie, 
dough kind of a way. It's sickeningly, sickeningly sweet. It's got honey in it. I don't know. It's not up my alley. It took me a long time to get through that. I think I bought that in the wintertime. Rainfall and Lush Greens Mix It Collection. I wasn't crazy about the Mix It Collection, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I'm still trying to work through the Spun Sugar one. Um, these were very flat to me, and I know that you're supposed to mix them, but if I don't like it on its own, I don't know. I, I couldn't figure out how to mix this. And you know me, I'm a mixing freak. I, this wasn't my cup of tea. I'm glad I'm done with it. Red Candy Apple. I made a post about this on Facebook because it's so fantastic. Oh, it's just, oh, it's so, I can't even describe it. It's just candy and apple together. I love apple scents. And so this was, I, I have one of these in my, my stash. This is Bring Back My Bar from last year pick for you was amazing and it went sold out so fast this is a very strong floral scent if you don't like florals you won't like this oh, you could have mixed this and this in fact I might have look at the colors together too ah uh, pick for you was fantastic just lots of flowers lots of different kinds of flowers in there it's like a bouquet that's why it's called pick for you hi and um uh, just amazing you can't get it anymore sorry another one you can't get anymore my home I have backups and backups of this I think I have five bars and I warm it maybe every three or four months I get it in my Scentsy Club I love my home it's very wintry though so when it's hot out you can't warm this it's very spicy it's almost like welcome home but not as cinnamony <sighs> dark side of the forest I have like seven of these Oh, it is so good. It is such a romantic scent. You wouldn't think a Star Wars scent would be romantic. This is a perfect bedroom scent. If you're looking, oh, look at this. It's bleeding on me. If you're looking to get lucky, warm this in your bedroom. Lots of oils in this deep red wax, right? Um, very, very fragrant. Very good. Very long lasting too. Love it. Fiesta Lime. Unfortunately, you can't get this anymore either. Part of the summer collection. Uh, this was very weak to me. Smelled very strong in the clamshell. When I warmed it, still never really knocked me out of the park. Went away about five or six hours later. So it doesn't really matter that it's sold out because I wouldn't recommend it anyway. Welcome Summer went sold out on the third of the month. This is the scent of the month for June. Very, very floral. Very, very crisp. If you keep this in the warmers too long, it has a little bit of a cat pee smell to me, but I liked it the first like day it was in the warmers. Very strong. I'm into the florals again. So if you like florals, you will like this. And I think it's got a little pineapple in there. I'm not sure. Blue Grotto. Who doesn't know Blue Grotto? I love it. I love it in everything that it comes in. I love it in the... Uh, the uh, counter clean, I love it in the body wash. I love Blue Grotto and everything. I blew through a bar of that. I think I gave some samples to customers too. But Blue Grotto is a staple in my house. I always have it. And Spice Grapefruit, lastly, is actually going out of my Scentsy Club because I have two or three backups. And I feel like, uh, it, this is nice. It's better in the winter, though. I, I don't want any more of this sent to me this summer. Um, Spice Grapefruit is like Bengal Spice Tea from Celestial Seasonings. Fantastic. It could use a little bit more tea, a little bit more spice. No, I'm fine. Anyway, there's my um, empties video. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll talk to you later. Bye.